Good morning, everybody. Um, today I wanna show you something really cool that we did at my celebration kickoff party. And it's this ombre technique on the Simply Irresistible Designer Series paper. It's in the 2015 Celebration catalog. You can see it right here. It kind of um, looks a little boring when you see it like that. You think, meh. But what it is is um, paper that has a glossy pattern over it so that you can ink it and then wipe away the ink on the white glossy surface. So today I'm gonna show you different ways that you can color this paper. You can use a brayer, um, which is easy and simple to do. We did this earlier um, at a class, actually at the end of December, so you can see how nicely it inks up that, uh, that surface. Another technique that you can do is the spritzer. Um, spritzing works great also. It's very messy, so you have to lay down lots of paper and make sure that your sprayer is pointed at the paper and not at yourself or at the wall. Not that I would know. Um, but the technique we did was to use daubers. And uh, I used four different colors of ink. I started the lightest color was Coastal Cabana and then Bermuda Bay, Island, in Island Indigo, and Night of Navy. The other thing you're going to need are your daubers. And I didn't pull them out, so let me get them. I labeled mine so that we would uh, use them for the correct ink. They look like this. They come in a pack of 10, I think. They're very cheap. And we're gonna just use these. These are much less messy than any other choice, I think. And you're just gonna take your dauber. Let's see, I'm gonna start with Coastal Cabana get my paper right here. I'm going to start with Coastal Cabana and I'm just going to start going across like this. Okay, every now and then re-ink your dauber. And one uh, reason I like this over the brayer is that the brayer uses lots and lots of ink. And I feel like the daubers don't quite use as much ink. So I kind of take a paper towel and get it all off of that glossy surface. Now I'm going to get the Bermuda Bay. Do you see how I did just about a third of it? And now I'm going to go with the Bermuda Bay and just go all the way down and go back over a little bit to blend in. I'm going to take my Coastal Cabana again and just kind of blend in so that it's not a hard line where those two colors meet. Oops, that's the wrong color. All right. Wipe it off again. And now at the bottom, I'm going to use Island Indigo. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. And again, um, go back over a little bit where those colors meet. Get the Bermuda Bay again. And you want to blend those colors well together. And then take your napkin or this is just a paper towel and rub over like that. Now if you want to spend some time going back over, I sometimes can kind of see blotches where the color is darker in one area than another. You can continue to do that until you get um, a feel that uh, it, you feel that it's all blended pretty well. Come down here, it looks like I need to spend a little more time down here. And so it goes from light to dark. Now, I felt like I needed a little more dark at the end, so I took my Knight of Navy, and I just did the bottom. Real small line here at the bottom. Go back with my Island Indigo and kind of blend that in. Okay? And that's it. And because the daubers, you have them like this, your hands aren't quite as messy as if you use a spritzer or a brayer. Now, the other thing that I did was to get my Blend Abilities, which is also another choice that you can get um, during celebration, a free choice. And I colored some of the pearls in Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going to get those and stick them up here like this. I probably should have let them dry a little bit so we can go back over the tops. All right, so let me show you the final product. If I can find it here. There we go, right there. See how it blends very nicely and it looks like when I glued it, I did it from dark to light. So you could do it either way.
okay? And that this is one of the celebration sets as well with some pennant punches. Something we learned that day while we were just playing around with this paper is that another great choice is to actually use the blendabilities to color. I really like this. Now, it's gonna use a lot of ink from your blendability, but you know what, if you're getting them for free, you don't have to feel so guilty about using so much. And then you just take your napkin again and wipe off. I felt like, let me show you the one I finished. I feel like this gave a great solid um, look. It, you can't really tell that it, that it was inked. It, looked like, it looks like it was professionally printed that way. So just another option for this really cool paper. Again, you can only get it by spending $50. Um, and then you get it for free. So it's called the Irresistibly Yours Specialty Designer Series Paper. All right, guys, I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll be back again with a new video soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.